EDDC. It started as Experimental Therapeutics uh, Centre about 12 years ago, at a time when there was a very clear need for a public sector translator to turn all the wonderful scientific discoveries in institutes and uh, universities uh, into a drug candidate. The key for us is actually, you know, getting our system to work together. Our researchers in the basic sciences, our clinician scientists in hospitals, our regulatory authority. But anchoring this must be facilities and infrastructure that can support taking off our asset from discovery to development. Two thousand and ten onwards. I tried to set up a, an additional facility for these downstream activities. And this allowed us then to go with ETC from a target to a preclinical development candidate and with D3 from a preclinical development candidate to a proof of concept in man. To the credit of the leadership of uh, Alex Martha and of course before him, uh, Sir David Lane and his entire team, uh, they have been productive because coinciding with the golden anniversary of Singapore, their work saw the first drug discovered in Singapore to be taken into first in men, ETC-159. One year after ETC-159, ETC-206 went first in men. This is demonstrating productivity. ETC-159 development started just as an idea in the lab of what if we inhibited this enzyme called porcupine? Would that be beneficial? So the whole process has been very exciting to take this fledgling idea, watch it grow through this process into a drug that's now in clinical trials has been one of the most you know, rewarding professionally for me um, experiences in my life. I think for 159, um, the biomarkers uh, are probably close to my heart because uh, that was really a, a breakthrough. We managed to, to have a very nice collaboration going. We, we worked with GIS, we worked with Sync Health, uh, NCC, DXD Hub, and it was really a multi-party effort. Seems to be now the first companion diagnostic that we get validated in Singapore and submit to FDA as a preclinical lab developed test. Drug discovery is a very long and laborious process. You need a lot of patients as well as a great partner. In EDDC, we have found a great partner the Singapore homegrown molecule, ETC206. It truly represents an opportunity to change the treatment paradigm of various cancers in Asia and globally. Our star product that came out of the 2009 outbreak, and it could tell us which subtype of influenza we were dealing with very quickly. And that's been used on a daily base uh, in Tantok Seng Hospital, sometimes doing 50, um, maybe 70, tests on some days, so thousands of tests a year over many years. In fact, one of our very first projects was a collaboration between one of our institutes as well as a local clinician. It really was an exemplification of the mission of EDC, which was to partner, collaborate, to take meaningful therapeutics forwards for patients. So when you look at EDDC, it is a national platform. And I guess for a national platform to be effective, it really needs to be integrated into the wider research ecosystem. We are stronger and better when we work together. That has been Singapore's strength. If I were to encapsulate my aspirations for EDDC in one line, it would be to do this well, make it count, and think Team Singapore. But let me just give you one more very important message. The message is that making something that didn't exist before, being part of a group that makes it, is a thrill that cannot be equaled by anything else in the world. So, please enjoy the next hundred years.